Most of us learned how to draw a circle in math class using a compass. All we needed to know was where to put the center of the circle and the measure of the radius to set on the compass. Then we held the compass steady at the center and rotated the pencil part all the way around to draw our circle. If we drew it on graph paper and looked closely, we could probably find a few specific points on our circle. But what if we don't have a compass, or graph paper, or even the radius of the circle? What if we are only given the center of the circle and one point on the circle? Can we find the other points on the circle? The answer, of course, is yes. And that's what we're going to do today. Let's start by looking at the equation of a circle. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Wow, that's a lot of variables. The x and the y are pretty standard, but the others might not be familiar. The h and the k together make the center of the circle at the point h, k. The r is the radius of the circle. So if we have a circle with a center at the point 2, 3 and a radius of 5, our equation would look like this x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. We simply plug in the values for h and k and then square the radius for the right side of the equation. Be careful when h and k are negative though. For instance, if the radius is 4 and the center of the circle is at negative 4, negative 5, and we substitute into our equation, we have to deal with subtracting negatives. x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus negative 5 squared equals 4 squared. Those two negative signs in a row cancel, and we end up with x plus 4 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 16. When the center of the circle is at the point 0, 0, also known as the origin, our equation gets simpler. x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals r squared becomes x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Simple, right? But we've got a little bit carried away. Let's get back to our problem. If we're given the center of a circle and one other point, can we find three other points on a circle? Let's do an actual problem to see how we should get this done. Find at least three other points on a circle that has a point at 2, 6 and its center at negative 2, 3. So our point is going to be at 2, 6. And our center is at negative 2, 3. The first thing we need to do is find the radius of the circle. We can do this by plugging in everything we know into our equation for a circle. Since we know the center is at negative 2, 3, we know that h equals negative 2 and k equals 3. Since we know a point on our circle, we can use x equals 2 and y equals 6. We plug it all in and it looks like this. So the formula for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So our x and y comes from our point that we're given, and our center is our h and k. So if x is going to be 2 minus h is negative 2 squared plus y is 6 minus 3 squared, and we're not given r, so it equals r squared. We deal with our subtracting a negative problem to get this. 2 minus negative 2 is the same as 2 plus 2. So we just replace that minus a negative with a plus sign. And then everything else stays the same. 6 minus 3 squared equals r squared. Then we evaluate what's in each set of parentheses. 2 plus 2 equals 4. So we have 4 squared. Plus 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 squared equals r squared. We apply our exponents. 4 squared is 16. 3 squared is 9. Equals r squared. And then we're going to add them and solve for r. So 16 plus 9 is 25. Equals r squared. We'll square root both sides and get that r is equal to 5. Now what? How can we use this information to find more points on our circle? We're going to use a different kind of compass to do that. Let's get out a piece of graph paper and plot what we know so far. Since we know our radius, we can travel north, south, east, and west from that point exactly five units to find more points. Moving along the compass points is easy on our graph paper, and since the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to all points on the circle, we know we'll end up on our circle when we travel five units. Look at all those points we found. Going north five units, we found negative two eight. Going west, we found negative seven three. 
Going south, we found negative 2, negative 2, and going east, we found 3, 3. Four points. One more than the problem asked us to find. And we're not done yet. We can find even more points if we want, since the given point isn't one of our four compass points. If we look to see how far over and up that point is from the center, we can find more points that are the same L-shaped distance away. Here we can see that 2, 6 is 4 units to the right and 3 units up from the center of the circle. So I can draw L-shapes from the center that move 4 units left or right, and then 3 units up and down to find more points. We found 3 more. On the left or west side we found negative 6, 6 and negative 6, 0, and below our given point we found 2, 0. Altogether, we now have eight points on our circle, including the given one. And if we're willing to do some heavier math, we can find any of the infinite number of points on our circle. Since we're on such a roll, let's try that too. First, we need to establish our domain so we can know what x values we can pick. The leftmost x value on our circle is our west point at negative 7. Our rightmost point is our east point at positive 3. So our domain is x is greater than or equal to negative 7 and less than or equal to positive 3. So we can pick any x value from negative 7 to 3 to find its corresponding y values on the circle. Yes, it's plural because there will be two. So let's pick x equals negative 4 from our domain. Now all we have to do is plug that into our equation for this circle and solve for y. So we're using the x value negative 4. And remember, our center is at the point negative 2, 3. So now all we're going to do is plug that into our equation for the circle. So remember that's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So our x value is negative 4 minus h is negative 2 plus y, we don't know what that is, that's what we're trying to solve for, minus k which is 3 squared, and we forgot to write this, but our r, remember from earlier, is 5. So it's equal to 5 squared. So negative 4 minus negative 2, that's the same as saying negative 4 plus 2. So let's rewrite it that way, negative 4 plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 5 squared. Then we'll simplify this to negative 2, so negative 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 5 squared. And now we're going to simplify our exponents. Negative 2 squared is 4, plus, we'll leave this part alone for right now, we'll come back to that later, y minus 3 squared equals 5 squared is 25. Now we'll subtract 4 from both sides. This gives us y minus 3 squared equals 21. And we'll take the square root of both sides. That leaves us with y minus 3 is equal to plus or minus root 21. And all we have to do is add 3 to both sides. So our answers are y equals plus or minus root 21 plus 3. So the two values are the square root of 21 plus 3 and the negative square root of 21 plus 3. If we're plotting those points on a graph, we can estimate their value by using a calculator to find that our y values are approximately 7.58 and negative 1.58. So we can graph those too. Now we're up to 10 points on our circle. Can you find any more? Pause this video now and try. The answer for all the integer values of x will appear shortly after unpausing. Here are the other points on the circle with integer x values. I hope this video over finding points on a circle was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy studying.